I'm Patrick Bailey from whiteboardcoder.com. Today is September 14th, 2017. And in this video, I'm going to, be going, going to show you how to create an ISO image using a few simple commands in Sigwin. Okay, now in my simple case, I just want to convert my Windows 10 Pro disk, install disk that I have, into an ISO so I can use it later on for, you know, VMware and things like that if I have to. Uh, so let me just install this real quick. So now I've got my disk spinning up. And now the command's cake. All you got to do is use this command called dd in Sigwin. Sigwin is a Linux. I'm basically doing a Linux on top of Windows. So this is not the command prompt. This is a Linux command prompt in Sigwin. Uh, but it's so simple that if you want to make ISOs, you might as well, if you don't have Sigwin, you might want to install it. So anyway, here's the command. dd if for input file equals, and then you go dev sr0, and that should be the CD-ROM. And then the output file, well, let me let me back up because I want to put this on the desktop. Okay, so now I'm on the desktop, so it'll actually appear on the desktop. So, so dd input file equals dev sr zero, and the output file I can name it whatever I want is going to be Windows 10 Pro ISO. I just made that name up, and then I'll run it. And what it's doing is going to directly copy it, and you can see it's already appeared on the screen. It'll take a while to write it because it's a big file, but it will write it. Gig. Okay, there we go. We're done. Like 4.3 gigs on that, so let me just double check. Yeah, well, 4.1 gigs. And that took about 10 minutes, and so it looks like it worked just fine. So that's about as simple as you can get to make an ISO. Uh, works great. Uh, so next, what I'm going to do, just to prove that I actually did make an ISO, it is correct, because this is a Windows 10 Pro install disk, I'm going to open up my VMware workstation and actually use it to actually install Windows 10 Pro to make sure the, this ISO is actually truly an ISO that you can mount. Okay, so I got my VMware workstation opened up here, so I can just go here and just make a new virtual machine. Uh, I'll just do typical, then I'll go find the installer disk. Oh well, wait, let me go, sorry, let me pop this out so I don't have this confusion. Stop! So, okay, so I popped the disk out, so no confusion. Then I can go here and browse for my installer disk, go to my desktop, and choose this ISO that I just made. You can see there's the date, just made it. Open that up, and then do next. And then I need to put the product key in here, so I'll blank some of that out. Okay, and then we'll just let it install. Oh, yeah, that's fine for now. All right, maybe I'll put it on my desktop. Desktop. And let it go. There we go. Should get a log in here. There you go. Even playing a YouTube video. So just to prove that it works. So I made the ISO and used it to install Windows 10. So it's about the simplest way I found that you can make an ISO. It requires Sigwin, but I like Sigwin. So anyway, so there you be. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please give it a like. To subscribe, just click the subscribe button. Also, you can follow me on Twitter under the handle at whiteboardcoder.com. View any code I may have thrown up as a gist uh, at GitHub under the username patmandenver, or check out my blog site at whiteboardcoder.com.